Hey everyone, this is Mark again. Today I'll be reviewing three rogue action figures for you resembling the Jim Lee or animated series saga. First we have the 1984 series 6 5 inch, the 1996 10 inch, and also the 1998 Street Fighter Rogue which was also released later as a single under the classic series. Okay, so first off, the 1984 Rogue. She's just about 5 inches. I had to put her on a little stand because she kept falling over. It's not that she's hard to stand, it's just that my table's kind of cushiony, so sometimes the figures fall over easy. Okay, so, um, it's really hard to find a rogue that resembles uh, the animated series very well. Kind of like Storm, I had to buy several different versions. Um, so, yeah, they, they keep getting her, her hair wrong, or her face looks weird, or she's missing, um, EX marks on her jacket, and so forth. Um, articulation, got leg, knee, one arm, the elbow, or arm and elbow. And then she has a little special punch move or whatever at the little thing in the back. And there you go. Very annoying. Uh, for my stop motion purposes, you know, if I'm trying to do something with her, you know, she'll keep popping her arm up. So it's nearly usable to me. Uh, she does come with a little belt, which comes off very easy. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if a lot of kids lose it or have lost it. Um, so yeah, the hair is probably the closest on, on this one, because it was pretty much just the very top, not really too much to the sides, kind of like the picture you see there. Uh, but they, they, um, they did get the, the headband, the right color, uh, and the collar, uh, but the green lines, I believe, were black there too, and you can't see any X mark on her chest there anywhere. Uh, I like how they did keep her hair long though, so that's good. Street Fighter version has short hair, I'll show you her in a second. Yeah, this is overall not a bad figure. I would have liked to have her as a kid, but never did. Uh, she does have holes in her hands for whatever reason. Two holes in the bottom. Yeah. So let's move on to the 10 inch. Alright, since I was so thrilled with the 10 inch apocalypse, I thought I'd give uh, another X Men a try of the 10 inch line. So that's why I'd buy this road here. Um, in the back, shows about the figure, shows the rest of the series. And this is interesting, if you look at the um, prototype, I guess, of uh, the 10 inch, see so your jacket's painted on, but this figure you actually get a real jacket, so I'm very glad that they changed that. And inside you can see some comic stuff, Rogue and Magneto, and then she comes with a little weapon inside. Oh, and also let it be noted that um, package size is slightly different compared to the Apocalypse. Just let it be noted. Alright, so let me open this thing up and see what I think. Alright, so here we are. 10 inch is 10 inches. Size comparison. There we go. Okay, so you sort of get the same articulation. You get the leg and the knee uh, you do get the joint in the elbow and the up so you, thankfully you don't get the little punch thing this one but there is no elbow it's just it's up okay and uh, the jacket is like a pleather which is cool it does velcro it opens up okay. Uh, I was trying to take it off, but then I realized, uh, you know, I can't get it under the, the hair. So maybe you can pop the head off, but I'm not really going to try that, that yet. This figure only cost me like $3.50 plus shipping though. <laughs> so I could definitely get another one and try that if I really wanted to. Um, but yeah, the jacket was definitely a nice touch. Uh, I rolled up the sleeves just a little bit. I probably need to roll it up even more, uh, but because of the, the pleather, they couldn't paint on the, the X marks, but I'm glad they did get the lines, 
on her chest there in the correct collar color, headband color. I have no idea why her eyebrows are red though. I really don't understand that. Uh, her face is just, it's so hard to get Rogue's face, I mean, it's, it's so hard. I mean, some of the other Rogue figures out there look really bad. Uh, this one's definitely not one of the worst ones, but it's definitely not the best, if there is a best. Uh, the hair's uh, even more longer than the 5 inch, um, and they did add more white on the top. Sorry if I'm getting out of view here, the figure's just pretty big. Uh, the belt is nice, it's, it's oversized. But I think that's a good thing because in the cartoon or comics or whatever, you always see it's kind of lopped to the side. Uh, and they, actually, they have, since it's so big, they could color it this time. The um, five inch, they could not color it. Um, so when you take it off, though, um, on the side of the figure, you can actually see a hole. And there's a hole on the, or kind of hole, but a little thing sticking out there to keep it in place. So that's kind of cool, I thought, you know, keep you from losing it. So you just stick it back on there. Oop. So yeah, I was really hoping for a joint though on that other arm there. And it would have been nice to take the jacket off from the get-go. I really wanted to see what the rest of her looked like. Uh, the back, it kind of has a you can see it kind of scrunched up like a, it gets tight around her so it's not all loose and baggy which is good. Very good. Um, belt's going up again. And just a size comparison against Apocalypse. Where is it? Okay, here it is. Yeah. It's Apocalypse. Oops. So he's, he's a little bigger. But, uh, Still 10 inches, pretty much, you know, it's pretty good. Yeah, definitely a cool figure, this one. Uh, it's 10 inch rope here. Uh, looking at it through the box, I didn't really get my hopes up, but once I like, took it out of the box, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, and the weapon it comes with? So stupid, though. Oh my god. It doesn't do anything. It's just for looks. Just for looks. I didn't test this out, let's see if it just fits in there. Oh my god, it's really tough to fit in there. Oh man. But it fits. <laughs> oh crap, now I got a loose joint. Oh no. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, for $3.50 or whatever, <laughs> I'm not complaining about this figure at all. So let's move on to the Street Fighter Rogue. Alright, I'm just about out of time, so I gotta go super quick on this one. Street Fighter Rogue is almost six inches. It's a little above five and a half. Alright, uh, articulation is a little better on this one. Got the main leg, knee, but she also has the foot joint too. Which is cool because if you want to make her look like she's flying, you know, she's got the angle there. <clears throat> you got a uh, joint in both arms compared to the old toy biz. The waist does not move. The head turns very, very slightly. Not much at all, though. The jacket is rubbery, but on the sides, it's just painted. My main complaint about this figure is the face, because it just looks too cartoony. And also, there's no uh, black stripes on her chest. Collar around the neck is the wrong color, and the headband is the wrong color. The belt is painted on. The hair is kind of short. Uh, there's way too much white compared to the other rogue figures out there. I think a little too much and they got it wrong. But yeah, it's still a cool figure. This is probably the one that I'm going to be using mainly in, in my stop motion videos. Because I'm not paying over 30 bucks for a Marvel Legends rogue, which face I think is the worst rogue of all time. So yeah, but even if I really wanted to, I could still take the 10 inch rogue and shrink her down to size since I green screen everything nowadays. Um, so yeah, that's about it, and one more thing I meant to point out, uh, the 10 inch Rogue does twist at the waist, I meant to point that out. Yeah, so that's all my Rogue figures so far. Yeah, that's about all I can say. Which one do you like best? <laughs> Leave a comment, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.